So if you look at the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the actual schematic that matches the radio and a better simple schematic here to follow along. You can see in my case a Type 41 output tube is used. You'll see the same circuit with many different uh, output tubes. The uh, red depicting the plate itself output. Of course the right arrow at the top. That's where the signal would continue on to the uh, output transformer itself which would feed the loud speaker. Looking down beyond that, C1 and R1 along with the uh, green ground symbol actually creates the uh, low pass filter. So let's uh, spend a few minutes here and I'll illustrate that by referencing the scope itself. To simulate the circuit I'm just using my audio signal generator and you can see I'm generating a sine wave up around uh, 10 kilohertz or 10,000 hertz and uh, that's hooked up just like you would see there to the uh, plate itself feeding over to uh, C1. As I uh, vary the potentiometer, that is move R1 closer to ground, you can see how it attenuates the uh, higher frequencies. Thus it changes the uh, response to allow more bass to pass and less treble. Again, as I lower the uh, frequency as you'll see here in just a moment, because of capacitive reactance, and we'll look at a chart in just a moment for this particular capacitor being 0 0.03 microfarads, you'll see that the opposition to the AC signal changes over that frequency range, say in this example from 100 hertz up to again 10,000 hertz or 10 kilohertz. As I vary R1 and bring C1 closer to ground, that's where we start seeing the attenuation in the higher frequencies. And again, you're actually passing less of the higher frequency, passing basically all of the uh, base or lower frequencies, thus the increase in the base response as you rotate the potentiometer itself. So you can see I keyed in the formula for capacitive reactance and just created this chart based on the 0 0.03 microfarad capacitor itself. And you can see how the opposition again to the AC signal change it across those various frequencies. So again, as we move the potentiometer closer to ground at uh, 10K, you can see how indeed that would impact the uh, upper end or the uh, treble itself of the signal and just the opposite of again when we're at the lower part of the uh, frequency band at 100 hertz allowing more or just about all of the uh, base to pass through and with R1 position fully counterclockwise, that is closer to ground, you can see me rotating the signal generator back up toward 10 kilohertz and how the response itself changes. You'll find the value of R1 in many designs being 100K and my design again being a 50K, I didn't have one. You can see a simple fix to that is just to take a 100K resistor in parallel with the existing potentiometer and convert it to a 50k. For those watching that are new to the hobby, hope you found this helpful. Everyone out there uh, take care. Stay well. Thanks again for watching.